objective is to have a constitution which would ensure the preservation of democracy in our country after independence. We want a judiciary which is independent. We want provisions which really guarantee effectively the rights and freedoms which ought to exist in a democratic society. We want parliament democratically constituted. We want a procedure for the amendment of the constitution which effectively protects us from the arbitrary exercise of the power to amend. We want the various commissions so constituted as to ensure that they function efficiently and impartially. Further and above all, we want provision made to ensure free and fair elections in our country. We have come here to make a genuine effort to solve the problems which now confront us. If it was not for Dr. Rudonat Kapildeo and one of his eminent and one of the Commonwealth's eminent barristers, Mr. Tajmul Hussein, who accompanied him to Marlborough House, they had a ding-dong battle to get a, con a, a constitution that will satisfy where every race and every creed would have had an equal place. Cabaldew fought for that. It was Dr. Cabaldew who forced it and who decided that he will not get involved if the community of Trinidad and Tobago, both ethnic groups, would have an equal place in this country. May it please your Royal Highness to accept our sincerest thanks from this side of the house for the signal honor you have so graciously bestowed upon us by being present among us on this unforgettable occasion. It is fitting that at this historic moment, independence is heralded with the adornment and luster of British parliamentary democracy and that it is dedicated to the British parliamentary tradition. Every such dedication is a barrier which evil minds will have to surmount in order to advance into totalitarian paths. Nevertheless, we enter the future with high hopes and with unbounded confidence in ourselves, we and the other side of the house. Had Dr. Williams not approached Dr. Capildeo and entered into in an amicable relationship. We would have not had any independence or we would have had confusion. And um, I think without Dr. Capital Deo, um, our achievement in attaining independence might not have been at the time when we got it, perhaps long after. But I think that given the cooperation that Dr. Williams got from Dr. Kapil Deo, was able to see us to independence in 1962. And, and to that, uh, I think the country should be grateful, most grateful to Dr. Kapil Deo. And um, I always felt, um, even though I have been the, the, the flag bearer, as it were, in allowing the nation to remember the legacy and memory of Dr. Williams. I always felt that Dr. Capildeo should be given the equal honor and respect. Capildeo was a genius. He was a man of integrity. Um, he was very humble, simple. Um, he was in search of no status. He did not wish to uh, be given any kudos. Or... He was a patriot, and that's why he came to Trinidad. Had he not been, he would not have, you know, left his very esteemed position in London and to come to 
um, descending into the political arena.